Hi, I'm Tree and this is Stitches TV and today I've been to Ikea. I bought these two blinds and do you know what we're going to do with them? We're going to make the most amazing designer skirt. Right, the first thing that you need to do is you need to lay out your blinds one on top of the other and make sure that they're pretty much exact going along the hem. This is going to be my hem. Then you need to take your biggest measurement around your hips okay and then make it a little bit bigger if you want and then double it very important you double that measurement so if I'm doing mine a meter I'm going to be needing two meters so you've got to get your fabric and fold it over so I'm going to fold it over because I want double one meter so I folded my fabric and I'm measuring it and I'm actually doing it more than a metre because I think I want it to be a bit more full. Now we're only going to have one seam at the back of this skirt so it's going to be really really easy. Okay so I'm going to cut it. Now so I've cut it. Now I need to cut a piece along the top which I'm going to use for the waistband. Now I don't know how big that's going to be yet so I'm just going to cut it off now just so I've got two strips there ready. So this piece that we've just cut is going to be the waistband. We don't need it at the moment, but keep it nice and neat and put it to one side. Right, so with the bottom halves, we've got to separate them, but be a bit careful because it is going to have a right side and a wrong side, or it might have a right side and a wrong side. So you've got to take them apart and fold them right sides together. So that's my green one. And then all we're going to do we're just going to stitch up our one and only seam, it couldn't be easier, just down there and then do the same on the green one. Right, we're only steps away from that designer skirt, but let me just give you a little tip, okay? Now if I was to put that where I've actually cut it, do you see how the pattern doesn't really match up? So what I'm going to do, so it really does look like a good quality skirt, I'm going to match up my pattern like that and then I'm just going to trim that off very, very quickly. Right, so I'll show you. So I've done the straight seam so it goes right through the centre of that pattern and the reason why I've done that is so look, look how neat that is. So you've got exactly, so it falls exactly in the middle of that pattern. So I'm going to do exactly the same to the green layer but do you know what, I'm not even going to change the colour thread, I'm just going to use the same colour thread because I don't think that you'll see. So I've got two rectangles with one seam in them. I'm just going to put a little notch just to show the centre front, okay? And then I'm just going to put another notch again, fold it again. This is just, I just like to know where the side is and the front is. I'm going to put another notch again to show where the side is. So I'll end up with notch at the front and two notches at the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to gather it, but we're not going to gather it all in one go just in case our thread breaks. So I'm going to gather it from the back seam to the centre, whoops, to the centre front and then from the centre front to the back seam and then we'll talk again. So remember that gathering is simply the biggest stitch on the sewing machine. Don't go backwards and forwards at, at the beginning because you need it loose so you can pull it and that's all you do. You have to pull one thread, either the top one or the bottom one but not both threads. So look, it's like this, it's as easy as this. See? Gather. That's it. Except you've got to do it all the way round. So that's the centre front. So I'm just going to gather it just a little bit to the centre front. So look, I'm just pulling it down, pulling it down, making sure that it's fairly equally spaced apart. And then I'm going to do the same on the back as well. So I'm just going to make sure that what I do on one side is the same size as what I've done on the other side, okay? Because there's my centre front, there's my centre back. And that's roughly about right. Now, I'm going to make it, I'm going to stop when it reaches where my hip measurement width is, if you know what I mean. So once I've done that one, I then need to do the same to the green one as well. Right, so I've got both of them gathered now, and then you've got to listen now or it's all going to go wrong. In order to have a reversible skirt, you've got to have the seams on the inside. So we need wrong sides together. So I'm turning one of them inside out, 
So in this case I'm turning the green one inside out and then I've got to put them inside each other so it will be, have a little look, wrong sides together. So when they are wrong sides together, sorry to sound like a robot but it's so important, when they're wrong sides together I'm basically going to stitch them together now. So I've stitched them all together and it will be like my biggest measurement there but it's not going to go there, it's going to go in my waist and it's going to gather, gather in like that and I'm going to wear it quite high. So now we need to do the waistband, so let's talk about the waistband. So this is that strip that we put to one side before, okay. Now I don't care about waistage for this tutorial so I'm just doing any, anything there. So I'm going to put the skirt, maximum stretch, onto the fold, and fo this is folded actually, look, see, I folded it and I'm going to put the skirt against it, maximum stretch and then I'm going to allow a little bit more because we need to do a seam allowance, I'm going to allow about centimetre and a half more. Now what we've got to do, there's this stuff okay and it's called vinyl or interfacing and basically what it is, it gives things a bit more body. Now I would like one of this, I would like the version of this to be a bit more spongy, they've got slightly thick, they've got more different thicknesses but this is all I've got at the moment, it's a bit crispy but it'll be alright. Now on one side it has glue, like that Bonderweb stuff, do you remember the Bonderweb? Now what we're going to do, we're basically going to iron it on to each piece. Now mine's a bit big so I'm going to have to trim it off a bit. Uh, we're going to iron it onto the off-white, the creamy colour, and we're also going to iron it onto the green. And we're going to iron it on on the wrong side. We're going to join the two pieces together by stitching them down one side about half a centimetre in. So we've done along here, we've stitched all the way along there, about half a centimetre from the edge. We've got to open it out now, look, I'm opening it out. I'm not going to press it yet, I'm going to press it afterwards. I'm putting right, can you open? I'm putting right sides together, look, right sides together. And I'm going to have the seams pressing towards the darker colour, because then it won't show so much. And then I'm going to stitch a large centimetre straight down. It's all nice and pressed, look, so we've got that on that side, we've got off-white on that side and we've got green on that side. So take it over now to your skirt. So I'm going to, I'm putting the waistband over the skirt, I'm matching up the seam of my waistband with the seam somewhere in here of the skirt with the right colour, in this case off-white, touching off-white and I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and basically I'm just going to stitch it just to that off-white side. So this is what we've got so far, I do need to press it but look what's going to happen is then for this side I'm going to use a brilliant, brilliant top, top tip. And my top, top tip is Wonderweb. We're going to cut it really thin, so I'm going to cut it to about 2 mil. So I've got my strips, see my strips? So first of all what I want you to do is to press this about a centimetre back, because it just makes it easier for when you want to stick the um, Bonderweb on, so just press it a bit first as you go along. Don't burn your skirt though. So you're going around, pressing it. Right, see, look, it's all nice and ready in position now. And then I'm just going to get my Bonderweb, it doesn't get any easier. Got my Bonderweb, making sure it's flat, placing it down, and I'm going to press it again. And hopefully, it will stick it. I've stuck it down with the Bonderweb and I've hand sewed it, done a blind hand sew stitch. Now the reason why I did do that is because look it's so lovely without a top stitch on there and it absolutely is a reversible skirt now. So what we're going to do, we're just going to fold the front like that. It won't be at the front afterwards but we need to do it at the front at the moment. And come up here now. You know how I never say use pins, would you know what? I'm going to say use pins, I know, I know, but we're not using it for sewing, okay, we're using it because we just need to hold it in position. So I'm just putting one pin there, 
so I know where that point is and then I'm going to put the pin to hold the one underneath right there and you'll see why ouch <laughs> don't stick it in you in a minute a quick way and an easy way to do buttonholes because there are a lot of people that have a problem with doing buttonholes I sometimes find them a bit tricky is to do chain loops now I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to show you what chain loops look like so here's one I made earlier as you can see they're they're called chain loops because they are loops and they are a chain now what you do you've got to make sure that they are the same size oh look how do those buttons get there <laughs> you've got to make sure that they're the right size for your buttons so let's just have a look at that we also need four threads when we do these loops now watch carefully I'm going to go in here and wow this really is like a sewing lesson I'm going to go in and out of here first of all and I'm going to create Ow, it's really tough I'm going to create a loop there and I'm going to try to be careful not to tangle my threads right so I've got a loop a bit of a tangly loop I've got a loop now watch this look my fingers are in there I'm going to grab it and pull now the first one can be a bit tricky to get neat okay look can you see what I'm doing am I doing it too quickly I'm grabbing it taking it through that loop grabbing it taking it through the loop and I just keep doing that and then very very quickly I'm going to speed up now and then when you think it's big enough or long enough to go around your button take it to the middle so it's going to go to the middle now when you want to close that off you've got to put your needle through that loop and just pull now I'm going to take that I'm going to take this off now because I don't need that anymore I'm going to take that roughly to the middle there like that so I need to go in and out a few times there so I'm going to go in and out like that and sort of knot it off a bit like that so I'm just making a knot okay and then I'm going to begin again put go through the hole and because that sort of closes it off so it can't go anymore take it down Gosh, I need a thimble. I really need a thimble. And then you're just going to knock that off. Looks really good. Does it look really good? So this was inspired by that Louis Vuitton skirt that I saw in L'Officiel collections. Now what I think looks great is having the opening at the back. You could wear it at the front so it's like a kilt or you can wear it at the back and then it creates a kind of bustle effect at the back. <laughs>